Okay, so uh, I'm out here working on the old Suzuki Quad Runner LT125 again today. And I'd had this thing running pretty good with my crappy old booger welded homemade intake and all that stuff on it. And uh, I was riding it around earlier today. And I heard a strange noise and the thing stopped running and then whenever I went to try to crank it back it was like the engine was seized. And I finally kind of messed around and jarred it back and forth and stuff and got it to free up but it was almost like it didn't have a spark plug in it then. Let me show you. See that? No compression. Spark plug is in it. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's wrong with this thing already. And I would say probably a lot of you guys that'll watch this video will know too, as soon as you see it. I've already got the bolts undone right here. Kind of smack this thing with a rubber mallet here. Oh, come off from there. There we go. Well, I thought I had it off from there. I do. There we go. Reach around here. It's hard to do this with one hand. Sorry, folks. Oh, oh, yeah. There she is, folks. That's just about what I thought. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll do it. I'm not really sure exactly how I did this. But, I did it. I wasn't absolutely dogging this thing or anything either. I was just kind of riding around the yard. May have been, I may have put something together wrong or something. I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know. I've not really had anything apart to put it back together wrong. So, couldn't tell you. Yeah, look at that. Good old chunks of metal. And there's what's left of the cam. So yeah, you've ever got a uh, four-wheeler or a lawnmower engine or something that acts like it's seized, and you can't get it unseized, things like that. Like something that was running yesterday, and then it all of a sudden you shut it off, or it just quits running. Because the thing didn't act like it seized whenever it quit. It just kind of, you know, it was almost like you just cut the key off. Just bleh, bleh, bleh. So I knew that the engine couldn't have just overheated and locked up or something. I pretty well knew that it had to be something about like that. Oh well, I've got a nice little souvenir. But yeah, that's where we're at on the old 125 project. That may be the end of it right there, folks. Depends on how how easy and expensive it'll be to get parts for it. But until next time.